What's up guys, welcome back. Casey here with Max Aroma, your number one destination for fragrances on the low. Now today we are back with Bond number nine, New York Amber. Well, bam. And this is the fragrance that we tried out for 48 hours from Tuesday till Thursday today. And um, we have our opinion set on the scent, the um, longevity, the expected projection and resulted projection and uh, seasonal use as well as the recommended usage for this fragrance, where you should use this, etc. Now, this is the packaging as seen in our first impressions. Is this right? Yes, it's on the right side. And this is standard um, bond number nine packaging. It does have the New York map in there as well. I'll, let me get this out. Uh, if it ever comes out, that is. And this is the standard packaging with the Bond number nine NYC map. As you can see, awesome, awesome packaging. I love Bond number nine packaging. They are so fancy. Now, this is the fragrance itself. It has this dark amber <laughs> color look. And uh, let's get on with the scent. Now, standard cap. This, this scent overall, it reminds me of kind of like the Middle East, right? It's like this rose water, saffron, amber, oud kind of mix of notes that are just very, um, not strong, I wouldn't say strong, but they're definitely charming. I would say it does have a allure of its own. This fragrance is quite interesting. It's kind of relaxing as well in terms of the warmth and feeling of the fragrance. Um, but yeah, that's literally what you're gonna smell is amber, oud, saffron, and like rose, rose water kind of notes. So if that's something you like, or if any of those notes are something you like, then expect that for this fragrance. It's not overwhelming. I sprayed two sprays on the neck, and then once I sprayed four sprays on the neck, and it was not overwhelming. Yeah, I wouldn't say it wasn't overwhelming at any point in the day um, for both instances. So definitely something to keep in mind if you like these kind of notes in fragrances. Now, many have mentioned that this fragrance note is like, I don't know, it's bad or it smells like motor oil or something like that. I don't see how you can compare this fragrance to motor oil unless uh, you have some kind of fancy motor oil you have, then please let me know. But or else the scent itself is quite nice. It's not as strong or <clears throat> I'd say as um, crazy as some other scents that Bond number no. 9 usually has or other fragrance uh, houses usually have. But uh, even though it is linear, it is quite pleasing and very, very nice. Uh, moving on to the longevity. So I got about eight hours of longevity with this fragrance in both days now. 10 hours of max longevity. So meaning it was, um, it hit eight hours where you can constantly smell the fragrance and um, after that it kind of dissipates into a skin scent. So somewhere around six to ten hours I would set the range depending on your skin tone, complexity, um, if you exfoliate, all these kind of variables usually play into effect, but expect a range of six to ten hours. For me it was eight to ten, now it could be different for you, but overall that's what the um, ex expected range of longevity should be for this fragrance, six to ten hours. Now in terms of projection, it kind of falls on that. Um, you can expect about half a feet of projection if that. I mean it's mostly a skin body scent where it just sits right around you know where you are um, really close to the body. It doesn't project that much. Now depending on where you spray it. Obviously, if you spray in your hair or uh, wrists, you know, you're gonna be moving around. People are gonna smell it, obviously, because you kind of create that kind of perimeter around you. But if you do it like me, where it's always the neckline, then don't expect it to exude off of you, so to speak. Um, but you will be smelling it yourself, and it's a nice scent, and it's quite soothing, so 
that is good for you. Um, in terms of the seasonal use, fall, winter exclusively, unless you live in a very cold climate in the spring and summertime, which I doubt, um, yeah, fall, winter is where you want this bad boy to shine. So if you like these amber oud fragrances, then this is definitely one for the fall, winter. Now, in regards to the recommended usage, for recommended usage, now this is a tricky one for this fragrance because it can be off-putting if the um, other person does not like it that you are with, say your mate, your significant other, your group of guys, whatever, um, yeah, you know, it, it can be a little testy. So it's kind of a 50-50 thing, if you're bold, whatever go for it if you're not then keep it exclusively for maybe home office i wore it in the office i didn't see any problem with it so you can do office as well um coffee shop i think this would be a nice coffee shop type of fragrance because the notes are kind of warm and the coffee smell is pretty strong the mix of scents wouldn't kind of distract anyone or anything and it wouldn't kind of neutralize the scent so to speak if it was not enjoyed by the other person that you are with or the group of people that you are with so it's something to keep in mind so recommended usage casual settings work is fine um maybe stay away from dates you know because it's kind of a 50 50 thing. really did not expect this to be that good after reading all the people's kind of opinions and takes on this fragrance i definitely thought it would be a flop um bond number nine usually has interesting fragrances so to speak i've tried one if you have not checked out that first impression or review make sure to check i think it was bleaker street i could be wrong but i believe it was bleaker street that i tried and i liked but it was a floral white floral kind of note and it was pretty interesting so that one was quite interesting but this one was even cooler i love the oud amber saffron rose water rose kind of mix that this had definitely a unique and interesting fragrance linear but worth trying out once again thank you for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe we will be back with another fragrance on tuesday for our first impressions after we will try out the fragrance 48 hours from then we will post our review on thursday of the fragrance discussing scent the longevity projection recommended use and seasonal use as always thank you so much